If you want to do a green screen or a weather forecast or something to that effect in Studio 2, it's not too difficult to set up. Uh, you can use the standard new set lighting. Uh, it'll all be set for you. And if you stand somewhere in between the desk and the green screen, you're in a good spot. Uh, positionally, you're going to need to you know, work with some things to see where you fit within the green screen and the camera shot. But overall, you're going to be in this general area. You can reposition the LCD screen to kind of be your vanity monitor so you can see what's going on. And of course, drop the green screen in the background. Uh, the rest of the work is done in the control room. To put the Globecaster on program directly, you push digital effect on the switcher. To set up the Globecaster for Chroma King, uh, first uh, we want to pick our background. So on uh, the frame store buses, I'm going to pick whatever background I want to use. In this case, I've got some clouds preloaded, and that'll look great for our beautiful weather window forecast. Uh, next, you're going to pick the camera that you're using to do the chroma key. In this case, we're using camera one. Uh, but with the Globecaster, you can use any of the three cameras in our studio. Uh, I'm going to click the number one button in both the key and the key P buses. So that'll bring up our key. Um, it does look pretty good in program right now, but we are going to fine tune the key just to make sure it's as good as we can get it. So uh, over to the right of the buses is the key setup area. Um, you want to make sure that the key is on normal. And then you'll double click this little window where you can see a little bit of the color green. This is where you're really going to specify the properties of the chroma key. That opens in the upper left hand corner of the screen. And you can see that our key type is indeed chroma. That's what we want to do. We are manually setting the color but uh, we can uh, change that to auto. It's a little bit more reliable if it's set to manual. To change the hue, that will change the actual color that we're keying out. Okay. Uh, usually for our green screen, you're going to want to use something in the 220 to 230 range. So this is actually right close to where we want to be. Uh, width uh, is how much it's going to key. Something between 40 and 50 is good. You might see a couple minor changes here and there. Okay. So uh, kind of ballpark it out, average it and you've got something workable. Again, something around 40 is going to work there. Low saturation, uh, for this green screen, it'll tell us how highly or lowly saturated the green actually is, or the color that we're removing. Uh, and in this studio, we found that something in the teens works pretty well. So we're going to leave it kind of around 13 and see what that looks like. Softness will depend on how harsh or how soft the key needs to be around the edges of your subject. So if someone has very defined lines, you don't need it to be too soft. If someone has curly hair and the curly hair, maybe it's even blonde and it's kind of interfering with the green a little bit, maybe you'll be a little bit softer. So this is an adjustment you'll need to make, especially as you look at the edges of your subject. Uh, once all those settings are where you want them, you can X out. And now we've got our key that's set pretty well. Uh, you can see on program, we've got our stand-in music stand ready to go. Uh, against the clouds. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> As you can see, we've got our music stand stand in on front of the green screen, ready to go in front of the clouds. Uh, and you can change this background just by clicking something new on program. Okay, so there's clouds, and hey, there's a mountain. This can be any graphic that you preset. Uh, you can make your graphics in Photoshop and uh, import them into the Globecaster very easily. Uh, please note, with our version of the Globecaster, the only way that you can transition from one keyed graphic to another is a straight cut. Uh, there is no capability on our version of Globecaster to do any dissolves or wipes while green screen chroma keying. Uh, so just keep that in mind. All right. Uh, on the Globecaster computer, you can see that oh, there's Globecaster. Uh, we also have Photoshop available to you. So you can create a new graphic in Photoshop. Um, there are tutorials for this. Uh, but we're going to use film and video and make sure that we are using the widescreen option. There's widescreen. We'll make our graphic. So in this case, I'm just going to draw a box. Uh, maybe we'll change the color to something else. Uh, sure, let's not go with red actually. Let's go with, how about a nice light blue, you knock it down a bit, and then we say 
maybe we'll say once it loads the fonts. Then we'll say, hello, this is the weather. So maybe some text. What I'm going to do is save this as a Photoshop file. We'll call it weather today. And I'm going to save it in a very specific spot so that Globecaster can find it very easily. I'm going to go to C, Globecaster, Bins. And then we've already made a bin for Rowan. And then we've even got one for TV1 Chroma Key. And we'll call it weather today. We'll even you know, name it you know, according to your class or your name or anything like that. Uh, we'll just call it weather today demo. You can save it with the layers. Say save. Uh, don't worry about compatibility, just say OK. And now we're going to go back to the Globecaster and browse to that same bin. So we're already in C, Globecaster bins. I'm going to go to Rowan, and then I'm going to go to TV1 chroma key, and you can see there's our graphic. Very simply, we can just drag our graphic into our frame store, and now we are chroma keying with the graphic that we created in Photoshop. So with our Weather Today graphic, our Music stand stand in can step aside, and your weather forecaster can be ready to forecast the weather. Just making sure that they're standing in front of the green screen, about halfway between the desk and the green screen. Camera is focused and appropriately uh, framed. Of course, I'm too tall for the camera as it stands right now. And uh, with the LCD screen in this current position, um, I can both, or the forecaster can both talk to the camera, read off the teleprompter, and also turn and see whatever graphics uh, need to be presented. Back to you at the desk.